Hey there, Scipio here. Uh, quick video on head speed uh, measurements. I wanted to compare my actual head speed against manually calculated head speed estimates. I also wanted to compare my head speed tachometer app on my Android phone against my optical LCD tach I got from Hobby King. That's what this video is about. First a note though, because I'm doing this alone, the only safe option for me is to conduct a head speed testing from a no load situation. In other words, the heli's on the ground uh, with zero degrees pitch, basically at full spool up. My calculation assumes near 100% motor efficiency with zero load at the spool up time. It's expected that efficiency will drop to probably 90% or so at full load in flight, but for the purposes of this, I'm doing a no load test. All right, here's the basic head speed calculation formula that I'm using. It's head speed equals the battery voltage times the motor KV times efficiency times the number of pinion teeth. Divide all of that by the number of main gear teeth. So with that said, my formula would end up being head speed equals 24. That's 24 volts. I'm running a 6S uh, pack, and I have it set at 4 volts uh, per cell. So 6 times 4 is 24 volts. That's kind of the middle of the road voltage. Uh, it's not max and it's not low voltage. Times 1700, uh, which is my motor KV, times 1, because remember I'm assuming a 100% efficiency. If I was going to do a loaded calculation, I would probably go a 0.9 for a 90% efficiency. My value is 1 in this. Times 11, which is the number of teeth I have in my pinion. And then all of that will divide by 121, which is the number of teeth I have on my main gear. Now normally a main gear for a 450 is 150 teeth. I'm using a helical cut main gear, which only has 121 teeth. So doing the math, it looks like my head speed is going to be 37.09, but that's at 100% throttle. I'm actually running a throttle curve of 80% right now. So if you calculate that 37.09 times 0.8 to get the 80% throttle curve, my estimated head speed is going to be 29.67. So let's see how close we get. So I'm guessing you want a conclusion. Well, here you go. I think math is fun and the formula is correct. Uh, keeping in mind, remember, this is a no load calculation. So it's going to change if we put the heli in the air and actually start giving it uh, a load. Uh, there is a relationship between blade pitch and uh, the efficiency of the, of the motor and how it affects head speed. Uh, the other conclusion point is these audio based head speed apps really do work. Uh, I've always been curious whether or not they actually had some value, but uh, this thing was dead on, so kudos to the developer of that app. Also, optical tachometers are accurate as well, and they're very easy to use from a safe distance. Now, I was a lot closer than I would have been in the field. This was a pretty controlled environment for the video. But uh, in the field, you can put your helicopter out, you know, 40 feet away and look through the viewfinder of the optical uh, tachometer, and it'll work great. So uh, anyway, that's it. Just wanted to throw this together. Uh, head speed calculation, audio-based uh, head speed application from a uh, you know, mobile device, and also uh, optical tachometers. I hit it all in this. 
Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.